Hi, my name is Sean. I'm with internalauditanalytics.com. Today we're going to take a few minutes to take a look at a free open source desktop data analytics tool called Piccolo. Piccolo is available from piccolo.org slash download. We can bring data into Piccolo either from a database connection or by importing a flat file, say a CSV or an Excel spreadsheet or a text file of some sort. If I take a table here or an Excel spreadsheet that has 10,000 transactions, Piccolo will automatically detect that it's actually a CSV file in this case, and it will capture the data very accurately. I do have options of changing the spacing to see what other, uh, other ways I could format this, but we'll stay with the comma-separated values, and it picks up the first row as the field names. Piccolo brings in all of its data by strings as default, so if I want to use numbers, I will actually have to go and change these uh, to the right data type as we go through. Piccolo takes about 10 seconds to import this particular table. If we're dealing with a very large table, say a million or two or three million transactions, it probably makes more sense to go and load that first into a MySQL database or something like that rather than have Piccolo manage the flat files. Piccolo is great for data analysis. It's not meant to be a big file manager or a data retrieval tool. So now that it's a Piccolo table, we can run descriptives on this. And this very quickly gives me my highs, lows, and averages on everything that's a number or a date. So because we reset the unit price field to a currency, the, these are accurate values. Now imagine I want to do a very quick test. I have an employee ID number for somebody who created this transaction. I have an approver number for somebody who approved it, and the employee ID of the person who received the goods. Now I'd like to see segregation of duties, so I would like to see all, see, all three of those being separate. The way I can test for this is to use the expression builder to very quickly either use one of the existing functions that are already in here, or to go and create a filter that I can use. So I want to see in this case, is the approver number equal to the receiver number? And maybe I also want to go and test to see if uh, maybe the approver number is equal to the employee number, the person who created the PO. I can validate everything before I run it. And the expression just sits there until I actually run set. And we find in this case we have a couple of cases where the approver number and the employee ID of the person receiving the goods is the same. Now at this point I could save this as another Piccolo table. I could just cut and paste this into an email to somebody, or I could go now and upload this result into a database. That's a particularly convenient option if I need to share this work with a lot of people. I can create one centralized secure data store and we can all use the same data store. So more information around Piccolo is available at piccolo.org and more information about audit analytic tools is available at internalauditanalytics.com.